What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yes, it's been out for a little while now, and I kind of wanted to do a review on it. Um, kind of. I'm not a professional when it comes to reviews, guys. I'm just a guy who loves his video games, his anime, his nerd culture. And I had to talk about this game. Um, even if it's a five, 10 minute video, I don't care. This is coming straight off the cuff um, from a guy who really, really enjoyed himself with this game. Uh, and we're talking about EA here. When we're talking about EA, it can definitely be a slippery fucking slope. We know their history. We know they're known for bringing out warm butter, putting their things inside of it and sticking it up our asses. Um, yeah, as they see fit. But this one, I have to say, they have a hit on their hands with this one. This game was everything I thought it would be and more. This game is really responsible for getting me back into Star Wars. Uh, I'm really loving the Star Wars uh, universe again. Um, I'm, I'm knee deep in it, uh, I'm learning a lot more. I'm really serious about it again. And this game was so much fun. I had so much fun with the character Cal Kestis. I thought at first uh, when it, the game you know, first was announced, you know, he wasn't necessarily the ideal character and I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person that felt that way but as I began to play the story and, and everything started to flesh itself out I began to really appreciate this character man uh, what uh, he was you know trying to attain everything he went through the people he met because he's not even the most interesting character in this game I mean there's so many interesting characters in this game I mean, you have his whole team, his squad, you know, you BD1, which is the robot. You have uh, Seer, who's definitely an interesting character, uh, former Jedi in her own right, a Jedi master, actually. And um, Grease, which is the pilot of the ship. Also, you have the Night Sister Marin. And one of the other characters I really, really gravitated towards was the second sister. And her name is Trilla. And I'm not going to, you know, talk about the climax of the story uh, because there's a lot of people probably who still haven't uh, had a chance to play this game and they might not want to be spoiled by that but it's definitely an interesting story man and all i can say is if you haven't played this game you need to fucking play this game it is a semi-open world action adventure platform type of game think like tomb raider mixed with some god of war mixed with some metroid prime all those things balled up into one I gave God of War, you know, game of the year 2018. And I think this is going to get my 2019 nod uh, because it had a lot of the same elements that God of War had. Uh, you know, you have your exploration, um, you have your action and you have your excellent, excellent lore and story. You have all those things with this title. And I think that you need to give this game a chance if you haven't. If you're waiting for the price to drop or whatever, I mean, hey. You can do that, too. As long as you put this game on your two playlist, uh, you know, you're not going to get any arguments or complaints from me. I just say that even if you're not a Star Wars fan and you don't really give a fuck about Star Wars, you should still give this game a shot. A standalone game. It definitely gets the job done. I gave it a nine out of ten. Average score on this game is anywhere from nine or eight. Only downside to this game, guys, I, I would have to say is there is no fast travel okay just get your mind ready for the no fast travel and if you you know you can get past that you're cooking with crisco i promise you um it really there's a lot of shortcuts to be unlocked in this game there's a lot of things to explore and if you're like me and you like to explore and you like to do all those things in video games then you're going to be okay because you're going to unlock a lot of shortcuts and, and whatnot but it still would be you know an added I would still have liked them to put that in the game. Um, hopefully, I think we're going to get a second game. Uh, it's no doubt in my mind. I think that EA um, has a hit here. And I, I think they realized that they fucked up by, you know, saying what they said a while back, talking about, you know, that the single player game is dying uh, and they were just focused on multiplayer, which is completely not true. And the sales of the game and the popularity of this game should tell them that. And the way that they left the story you know, at the end is definitely calling for another another game, another sequel. 
uh, a sequel to this game and i can't wait to find out you know when that's going to happen it's probably won't probably won't be for a while the game just came out but i think uh the game's done well enough for them to move forward with the second game um like i said before guys if you're not a star wars fan i don't think it would matter if you're just looking for a nice uh experience this game is definitely something i would um i would consider playing rent it if you don't want to pay full price for it um i pay full price for it um i pre-ordered the game and i'm very happy with this purchase and very happy to add this game to the collection of some of the top tier uh games that i've you know come across in the last couple of years man so uh, with that being said i mean i don't know how what else to say without giving too much of it away uh you, it's just a lot of exploration it's a lot of um very interesting enemies in my opinion that you come across and a lot of surprises as well uh like i said the, the, the game is very very well written this is like even some of the characters uh, you know you come across in this game um they could have their own story uh, you could actually literally make a movie on some of these characters just by themselves not even talking about cal kestis who's the main character so with that being said i mean what else is there to say um just play this fucking game guys i I'm doing a quick video just because I was just so pleased by what, you know, I experienced in this game. It was a complete experience for me. I enjoyed every fucking minute of it. And, you know, I'm interested in getting back into that Star Wars world, man. You know, with the Mandalorian out here now and the new Star Wars movie coming, uh, you know, there's a lot of things to be looking forward to. Uh, when you're talking about Star Wars and, and even, you know, I could even say uh, Battlefront 2 because I've been playing a little bit of that lately. It's a completely different game now. Uh, I played it when it first came out and then it, it got dry and bland and then I left it alone. And, you know, coming back to it now, a couple years later, it looks uh, great as always. But the content now is just, you know, fucking outrageous. It went from zero to 60 and it's like a whole new game so if you're wanting to get a star wars fix man and you got to play this game that's all i'm saying if you if you're into big stories if you're into that lore of the star wars universe and even if you're not a fan like i said before you're still going to enjoy yourself you're still going to find something fun and, and great about this game and i highly highly recommend it with that being said guys i'm going to finally get out of here if you like this content, guys, please don't be afraid to hit the like button or subscribe button. I have a podcast every fucking Monday where I talk about anime. I talk about video games and nerd culture. So if you want or if you're interested in any of those things, you can definitely check me out every Monday. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.